Hello and welcome to Replica Blangans. Today I finally can make this review. It's a long, I waited a long time for this one. But today I will present you the first official licensed Zig Zauer blank gun replica by Sionic. So it was very hard to find because it, it turns out that it's uh, not so widely spread and uh, it was hard to find it in the local shops basically the, it, it was none so I have to to find other ways to, <laughs> to get it uh, but without any further ado let's start with the review first of all you can see that it comes in a very hard big plastic hard plastic box and just for comparison this is the box that the ISSC M22 came in, small plastic case, very good again, but it was with the Sionic logo, this one is Zig Zauer branded. So, inside we can find there's locks, you can find the manual first, other uh, certificates, there. we don't need them. The manual is only in German because this one is especially for German export so it's only in German complete manual inside and of course we have the gun you can see that it's very I'll, I'll call it even luxury box uh, I have a spare magazine but uh, I don't know where it is it's somewhere in my boxes it was here I couldn't find it probably I'll show it to you when I make the shooting review so it comes with two magazines inside we have the cleaning rod you know which we basically rarely use on a blank gun we have the flare adapter which you know you we use to, to shoot signal flares and stuff like that and we have of course the gun basically that's that's the most important thing that we should discuss now okay, so from the first look it is probably one of the best or the, the, the best well-made guns, blank guns I have ever seen and, and I've seen a lot. Uh, the balance is just perfect slightly to, to the top. Of course it is a uh, double construction metal slide and upper part and polymer and composite materials on the bottom parts. You can see 6 hour P 320 the logo is it's, it's inside the metal part it is uh, it's sealed in the metal it's not painted on top of the metal it is grinded in it and on the other side you can see there's some other markings in here basically I'm not sure what these are for uh, it's the same like this one and this one probably some uh, some legal issues they they have to fix with these markings as well as the PTB which as far as I know it should have this one in order to be uh, freely sold in Germany as far as I know so basically let's talk about the gun first of all it is extremely extremely comfortable it's a replica of the Zig Zauer P 320 compact because the full 320 is a little bit bigger but it is just as big enough for me to be able to 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 hold tightly the gun is extremely sturdy you can see absolutely no wobbles even the slide you cannot hear even the 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 slide wobbling on the barrel everything is extremely tight and the grip 
is I don't know if you can see it it is it is like a sandpaper once you hold it there's absolutely no moving so I, basically I would like if there were uh, some you know these small uh, things in here uh, like they are on the SSC M22 this one here to make your grip even more comfortable but this grip is far more comfortable than the ICC M22 and just to make the comparison between the two guns you can see how the branding is made in here you can see how it's made on the ICC M22 it's just painted on top of the slide so what we have here is you know the controls we have the sides which are uh, you basically you don't really need the sides for a blank gun uh, this is the slide catch and release lever it's double sided so you can use it if you're left handed easily as well and this is the Mac release the magazine hold it, it says in the specification that it should hold uh, 16 rounds plus one in the chamber, but basically I was able to fit 14 in it uh, Yeah, maybe the spring will surely get loose and you'll probably fit 15 or even maybe 16 And it is a front firing blank gun, so the barrel is obstructed Semi obstructed, you know, there's a metal rod inside the barrel so you cannot shoot any projectiles, but the gas and uh, you know, all the force goes from the front of the gun, not from the top of the gun. Of course, the barrel is threaded for the flare adapter. And basically, yep, that's a slight catch release lever. Uh, it is double action, which means that it should, when it's loaded, but also if you have a gun in the chamber it will shoot again the trigger is very hard even on the beginning if the, when the gun is not loaded the trigger is pretty hard which is good because the gun has no internal or external safety so the hard trigger is always good for that type of guns and also when the gun is loaded now you have you have to apply more force which is also good for avoiding any unnecessary shots underneath the gun you have a standard Picatinny rail for attaching accessories laser sights, flashlights, whatever you want to put in there and now let's quickly disassemble the gun and show you its features it's very easy made you just get this lever down you pull it out and you know the drill back and forward A little bit hard because basically I've done it only once and you have everything in here the spring the spring guide it's all metal the barrel and in here we have the slide the ejector port extractor and everything inside it's I've, I've never shot with this gun uh, so it is completely clean and now you can see the barrel as I told you it's semi obstructed so you can use all type of special rounds with it if you want and of course in order to reassemble the gun you just put things inside in reverse order and again just back and forward Really hard 
because the spring is still very tight okay. and once you've done this you can see it's easy you don't need any extra tools you just need to get this little pin in here and just press and rotate it a few times there it is and your gun is ready the other nice feature in this gun which is uh, which I, I had to tell you in the beginning is that you can see now from when you take the gun and you look at from the back and you see this part in here it is not loaded but once you load the gun you can see this little red dot comes in here it's painted on the back of the hammer so now you can see that the gun is loaded which is a very very nice feature indicator to show you if the gun is loaded or not now you can see when I press the trigger the hammer falls down hit the firing pin and there is no longer indication in here of course if the gun is cycling uh, this will be in here again if the gun is loaded and ready to shoot so once again the licensed 6 hour P320 compact version by Sioni comes probably I would say one of the best blank guns I've ever had you can see they, they paid a very big attention to all the small details like in here all the small pins that can probably catch up in your clothes or hands they are rounded perfectly made you can see even on the bottom plastic part you can barely see uh, where the plastic is sealed the two separated parts and of course the magazine again it's all branded very very beautiful gun I'm looking forward to make the shooting review of it I'm sure it will be just perfect so that was it for the Zig Zauer P320 by Sionic Arms probably one of the best blunt guns I have and probably one of the best blunt guns I've ever seen so far that's it I hope you liked the video and the review please let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel this helps me a lot thank you and goodbye